Hi everyone, it is me, Sailor Venus, Mina here, and today we're going to talk about, you know, why we don't skim out our films. Now, I know we've talked about this, I made this film many times on uploads and lives over the years. This will be a time to talk about it, and I guess we could be done with it. Now, some folks out there might think, oh, you're running out of things to talk about. No, not running out of things to talk about. That's your belief. So anyway, a lot of folks over the years, and it tends to be haters and trolls that will say this, um, would be to say, like, skimming is your friend. Now, first off, that is a lie. Why? Because skimming is only your friend if you have skilled any of the sundry as film skimming tools out there. And you know how everything works. And you know its strengths and its weaknesses. Well, let's be earnest about it. There is no law or oversight that says you have to skim your films. Either they be uploads or lives or shorts or whatever. There's not. And some folks are going to bring up about how far seer show businesses and film businesses and play businesses and skilled sport businesses, even skilled wrestling and skilled fighting businesses do it. Well, first off, they choosing to do it is their own business, you know. Now, first off, it takes too long. Yeah, it does. And, and none of the tools work the way you think they're going to work. You know. Oh, it's like you want to make your film brighter or darker? I can do that for you. Hey, no bind, right? You want to make a beginning or end sheet to your film? No bind. You want to cut something out? Well, that's where wanna, that's where you're going to fuck your fuck up your film. Forgive my English, but that's the truth. All right, because what's going to happen on one of two things is either it's not going to do nothing, like the ArcSoft tools did back in the day, or it's going to be the hit and miss like the Microsoft or SmallSoft tools, meaning that you're going to cut it and it's going to work, and then you can put the two slot. You can work with what you had before and after the cut. Or you're going to cut it and then you can't work with anything before and after the cut. Or it's going to take too long to lay whatever shifts you did to the film. So, yeah. That tends to be the big thing when it came to the small soft film skimming tools over the years. And the ArcSoft one, well, the ArcSoft one, well, it could... It could do all those things a small soft one could do, but they couldn't cut nothing out. Both offshoots that I had back in the day that came with my HP web shooter back in the day were both, both could not cut nothing out. It was almost as if both of these settings were either broke or shifted off. Or I'm just going to say they were broke. Anyway. But uh, it could make your film brighter, darker, and, you know, put a beginning and end sheet to your film, but at least it could fillet your films faster. And then there was the Cyberlink Power Director one, or the <coughs> Interweb Feed, you know, my Overseer one. The one we got back in the day was broken, and all could do is film. So I don't want to hear about how skimming is your friend because I've dealt with three with four tools and they were all bullshit. We make our film, we don't skim or cut or clean our films because in true life or in true life you cannot do that. When something goes right or wrong you can't do that. Now God can do that but he chooses not to and man like women like beings can't do it at all. So, yeah, I think it makes our film lifelike. And all we want to do is make a film, upload it, fillet it, and that's it. 
don't want to fuck around with any film skimming tools. It's going to be a hit and miss. I know some of you folks out there are going to say, oh, well, there's the there's the Sony Vegas film skimming tool. Well, the Sony skim, film skimming tool is shit, too. That includes Mackie Cam or Small Shooter Tool. That shit. That also includes the Apple iFilm. That shit. The Apple Macintosh iFilm. That shit too. And Last Cut that everyone loves to talk about. That one. That's the one that's a flight of shit as well. At the end of the day, all film skimming tools are too weak. And they don't really, there's nothing really anything outstanding about any of them. And it also includes the YouTube one because it's even weaker than all the other ones. Now, a lot of you folks out there, and if you happen to be a bully or a troll or a hater, are going to say things like, oh, well, make your film good. It'll stop me from saying shit. Well, here's the truth. You're going to skim the films any you're gonna scave the films anyway or guilt me or shame me or slight me for something anyway you're gonna shift you're gonna shift the goal steeple anyway so I don't give a shit it's not my work to win you over or shift your mind and if you only watch films that have all the other shit in it well oh well go go watch someone else's film there's so many folks that do that shit but well, we don't. And now you know why. So I never ever want to hear anyone ever say how any of those film skimming tools are my friend. Because they never were. So anyway. That's all the time I got. If you like this film. Then follow me over here at, the, at Sailor Moon for Life. Watch the other film we made yesterday when my good friend Sailor Jupiter or Sailor Stormworld Lita talked about getting a new Reckoner sometime in 2024 YL. I, Sailor Venus Mina, and I'll see you later. Bye.